In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using a couple of neat tools here in EasyStone to quickly edit this design um, that we've exported from our Hotfix Era software. Now, Hotfix Era does a decent job of creating a very quickly rhinestone fills. However, the fine-tuned editing tools within Hotfix are somewhat lacking, certainly not as easy to use as those here in CorelDRAW. So what I do is I export the design from Hotfix into CorelDRAW and I do a, a bit of editing. And you're going to see some different challenges that we come across even in a very simple design like this that the software doesn't really handle very well. So we as designers have to handle it. And we've incorporated some tools here into EasyStone that make this process easier. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take these stones that we've exported from Hotfix. Right now, EasyStone doesn't know what they are. They're just circles. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch those um, to a, a color, which in this case we're going to do uh, fuchsia. And uh, we'll go ahead and change those out. So all it's, all it's doing is just recoloring these stones and giving them an actual name. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do is just take a look at some editing. So right here you can see there's a gap right there. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select these stones here and hit Shift P. And that will space all those stones. You can see how they're all spaced now evenly apart. And that gap is now gone. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Select all those stones with Corel Draw and Shift P and that will space all those stones apart. So when you step back you don't see that weird gap there where these two pieces intersect. Now here with, with this uh, C we actually do have a problem. We gotta fix this intersection. We have an overlapping stone there we need to fix as well. So we'll come back to that. Let's take a look at this one over here this angle right here we've got to fix that so what we're going to do is take one of these stones right click make a duplicate of it and then we're going to take advantage of a tool here in easy stone so we're going to select this one hold our shift key down and select this one so what we've done is we've selected the far boundaries right on the selections tab if we right click on create selection what it does is kind of draws an imaginary line and automatically selects every stone in between. Now there's one extra stone right here because of this severe overlap that got selected that we actually don't want. So shift click on that stone to get rid of it. But now we want to evenly space these stones here. So what we're going to do is come to the editing tab. Okay. And we're going to right click on respace. Right click on respace and now all those snap right into place and they're all evenly spaced. You can see they match exactly those other columns. Now we still have a couple of issues here. For one, this has to go away because obviously it's overlapping. I'll actually bring this stone around and when you're making that tiny little adjustment there, we would probably just hand move a couple of stones and call it good. Okay. Even though that spacing may not be totally exactly perfect, would, that's probably what we would do. But I do want to show you a pretty cool tool, and that is we could draw a curve. Now, understand the process here. We're drawing a curve. Okay, We're going to duplicate that curve. We're going to come to Selections. We're going to right-click on Select by Outline. And what we're going to do is we're going to def either define an outline or in this case we already have the outline defined just hit escape okay and what that will do is that will pick up every stone that was on the selected path but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here hold our shift key down click in this white space and shift key click again okay what that does is it tells easy stone because when we use the select by outline tool, we're selecting the stones and the path. Remember, we created the path, we duplicated it to use with select by stone, but we still need this path. Why do we need that path? Because we want to space the, the selected stones along the selected path. But remember, when we use select by outline, we don't know that the path was the last thing that was selected. So by coming in here 
in the white space holding our shift key down on the inside of the path by clicking that deselects the path and then when we click again it selects the path again so now the path was definitely the last thing that was selected so now easy stone knows okay this is the path these are the stones so when I hit respace watch those stones all shift around watch this space right here see that space is bigger than this one and this one and this one all right so these stones watch when we hit respace it'll be a slight adjustment but all the stones shifted and now that spacing is perfect and now when you sit back and look that spacing looks totally symmetrical and while that's a small change in this example uh, we're going to show you a more dramatic example here momentarily but I just wanted to get you the understanding of, of the process that tool uses okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to push that stone just a little bit and this will give us a better example so let's go ahead and select these stones right click to respace that'll kind of snap those all into place there tell you what let's go like this right click to respace again see those those are all now in a perfect line so now this gives us a better example because we have a huge gap here and what we need to do is gradually all the way around we need to gradually fill in the gap there so watch what we're gonna do here we're just gonna take and when we start out doing this we don't have to be super precise okay um, let's just do something like that okay so you can see it's just plum goofy right so grab our shape edit tool and that node that we created then we can really fine-tune things okay and get that so this path is kind of cutting through uh, where we want these stones to lay the center of these stones where we want the center of the stones to lay okay and once we have that path fine-tuned then the process is the same we're going to duplicate the path by hitting the plus key on the keyboard that's duplicated the path then we're going to come into the selections right click it's asking us to create a path but we already have one so we're going to hit the escape key and say use the one that we have currently selected it's going to pick up all those stones along that path which it's already done and then we're going to come inside shift see see that node right there on the path when I click when I shift click inside that node goes away then I shift click inside again that node reappears that tells easy stone the last thing that we selected is the path we want the stones to be shifted to so now when I click on the editing tab and hit respace watch those stones shift see how those stones shifted and that's exactly what we wanted it to do okay now yes we didn't have our path exact over here but that's okay because we can just make that small change there but the gap that we created there um, was picked up by and, and shifted all the way around to those stones. And so we now have a nice uh, transition into there. Okay. So now let's kind of take a look at what we're going to do down here. Um, I tend to go a little farther than I probably should um, when I do my rhinestone designs because I'm, I'm quite picky. Um, but what we're going to do here is grab our freehand selection tool get rid of one side because this is symmetrical uh, we're just gonna focus on one side get that perfect and then we can flip it to the other side so what we want to do is take these four stones and group them together and then we're gonna take this stone because this stone give it a different color this stone is what I'll call my anchor stone and and what we're gonna do is set this stone so it's dead center of our group so select select our anchor stone shift our group hit C and it did you see that slight little shift now this is directly center of our group so this will be our what I call my anchor stone so go back to that freehand selection tool select all of my design there and we have an overlapping stone situation here so we're gonna just kinda make it so it's not overlapping right and then we have uh, a stone touching which that's not going to work so we're going to get rid of that and then uh, what we're going to do is take this and we're going to push that around all right and depending on how much work we want to do I think that will just make that small adjustment there 
and yeah I can live with that okay so we need to fix this right because we have this big gap here so we'll grab our three-point curve tool we'll create a curve from there to there to there so now we have our curve created we're going to duplicate the curve come to selections right click select by outline that will pick everything up along that line we are going to shift click inside shift click inside come to the editing tab respace and it'll shift all those stones around for us and then we can get rid of our defined path if we want to so now let's just flip this and see what we get I don't know what we're gonna get if it's gonna give us the exact result we're looking for so we're gonna flip it hold our, holding our control key that will give us a 100 percent flip equal flip otherwise we'd get something like this right so that's the difference of holding that control key down and then right clicking to make it a duplicate of the original and then we have that anchor stone we can just click and drag center to center okay now obviously they have two overlapping stones here that's not going to work very well and then um, you know then we can kind of position this stone there and we can move this down okay I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, this one, and have equal spacing. And then I can get rid of that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move that stone there. And again, like I said, I would usually take things farther than I should. Um, and I probably shouldn't have made all those adjustments, but that's okay. Because it gives me another opportunity to use that fancy tool. Um, so again, we're going to draw our curve along these existing stones right so now we have our curve let's duplicate it let's go to selections and right click and hit the escape key because we have our path defined so pick up all of our stones along that path which it's now done we're going to come in here shift click shift click okay our path is selected our stones are selected respace the stones along the path it's done that very very nicely and now we can delete Okay, so now really, um, we're just going to come back in here, grab our freehand selection tool. Okay, go ahead and delete the part of the design that we don't need. And then we're going to use our freehand selection tool again, make a selection, holding our control key down to flip it, right click it. We have anchor stones we can align with. And there we go. Okay, so now what we can do is come in here, go back to rename and fill. Yes, we'll undo the group. And now that design is the way we want it at the bottom. Okay, so now there's one more thing to do here. I'm going to select that, select this stone right here, come all the way to the top, shift select this one, come to the selections tab and right click and create selection. Now, what it does is a little bit different than that select by outline it just works on a straight line the select by outline can work on a curve okay so um, we know how many stones are there because it says 30 objects right so now what we're going to do is do the same thing over here we're going to select that stone you see there's a gap there we need to know how many stones are in that row so right click on create selection and look at what it tells us there's 29 which makes sense because there's a gap of about one stone so let's just duplicate a stone and do the same thing select top bottom right click on create selection we have 30 objects shift a spaces vertically evenly okay so now we've uh, gone ahead and now we have that perfect alignment there where we filled it in but now we have an intersecting stone there we have an intersecting stone here so I'm gonna delete both of them I'm gonna move this one into place where I where I think I want it same thing here just manually doing that okay this is where I want that stone to be and then what we're gonna do is take our three-point curve tool just like we've done previously and create a curve and respace these stones so we're going to 
hit the plus key on our keyboard to duplicate the path, come to selections, right click, hit the escape key so we've already defined our path, shift click, shift click, editing, respace. And now we've respaced it. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and hit delete. Now those stones are spaced evenly apart the way we need them to be. And then the same thing here. We'll just go ahead and make a small curve. Come over here. Make another curve. If we want to fine tune what we just created, we could to better reflect what we want. Once we're happy, we'll duplicate the path. Come to selections and right click. That will hit escape. That will pick up all the stones. Shift click, shift click, editing, respace. Okay, and see when that happens, which what just happened there is because I did not select this properly. So we're going to duplicate. We're going to go to our selections, right click, hit the escape key. That will select the path and the stones. And then we're going to come in here, shift click. That will get rid of the path. Shift click again. We'll select our path and then we can respace. And now those stones are evenly spaced along that path. And we can hit the delete key. And then to finish it off, we'll come in here and add a weed box. And there is our finished design. And you can see it turned out really nice with some basic editing. So that is the new selection, select by outline, the right click on create selection, and of course the new respace feature uh, here in EasyStone.